last week. People who travel 2222 are wondering just how safe that road may be. KXAN's Chris Sadegi spoke today with someone who says they've seen several crashes and want to know if anything will be done. We see crashes here. I mean, it's all the time. With an office right on the road, Chris Davison has seen his fill of 2222. The front row seat. Unfortunately, of what goes on, and he's talking about crashes. It's pretty regular. I mean, it's not not team one surprise when the EMS rushes out here with the fire trucks, including one Monday morning that left another dead and Chris nervous. The first thing I did is call my wife because she drives down 2222 every morning to work. Just across the way, a street sign has been knocked over. Drivers making left turns in triangle entryways like this, Chris thinks, are too risky for this road. The people go to make the left and then they stop in the middle of the road because they're, they're confused by this. A few miles east is where two fatalities happened in the last week. Police say Monday morning's fatality happened on a busy road at a busy time. 2022 does start getting quite a bit of traffic and then especially coming uh, eastbound, you know, because everybody's headed into town. A safety study in 2011 lowered the speed limit along this stretch of 2222 from 60 to 50. But after a deadly week, at least one person with a good view of it all thinks more needs to be done. How many deaths does it take? Now, along most of 2222, it's the city of Austin that handles the traffic lights, but the markings, the pavement, and the signage falls under TxDOT's responsibility. We're in West Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. In 2013, TxDOT repaved much of Ranch Road 2222 to help with drainage. And they told us today they examined crash data on all highways to help determine how to make them safer.